Hi, welcome to Recap Movie Master. The film immediately begins after the ending of the first film with Art the Clown returning to life in the morgue and slashing the medical examiner's throat. He then pops out the examiner's eye in order to replace the one he lost and also seemingly takes the examiner's brain to replace his own lost brain matter. Art then goes to a laundromat and cleans his outfit killing another patron there before disappearing into the night. We also learn that Art sees visions of a small, psychotic, clown girl called the Little Pale Girl who shares his glee in his murderous ways. The film jumps to almost a year later as Halloween again approaches. A teenage girl named Sienna is making her own Halloween costume modeled after her dead father's artwork. The costume is of an angel warrior, which was a character created by her cartoonist father before he died. At dinner, Sienna tells her mother Barbara that her younger brother Jonathan is planning to dress as Art the Clown. Barbara forbids him from doing so and later, Sienna confides to her mom that she's worried about Jonathan's state of mind. On TV, scenes from the first film play as Vicky, the sole survivor who survived Art's last attacks though being horribly disfigured during her struggles, is interviewed as depicted in the first film. Vicky later attacks and almost kills the interviewer. That night Sienna has a dream where she's on a film set shooting commercials for a clown cafe and a serial owned by Art. She watches on horrified as Art kills all the other actors on set before shooting at her with a flamethrower. When she awakens, she finds her room on fire unclear if it's due to the dream or leaving candles lit. Barbara puts out the fire, but not before it singed the wings of Sienna's costume and burned a sword her dad bequeathed to her before she died. The next morning, the whole school is discussing Vicky's attack on the interviewer with Vicky having been sent back to a mental hospital. Sienna has a panic attack upon hearing of what happened with Vicky. She is comforted by her friends Brooke and Allie. Meanwhile at his school, Jonathan catches two other kids messing with the corpse of an opossum. Later, Jonathan finds Art in the school hallway playing with the same opossum corpse. Jonathan also can see the little pale girl. Art throws the opossum at Jonathan and runs away. The school principal blames Jonathan for bringing the dead opossum into the school and reports him to Barbara. After school, Sienna goes to a Halloween store to buy a new pair of wings. There, she finds Art. Although the clown unnerves her, he has no interest in killing her. After Sienna leaves, Art locks the door and maims and kills the store clerk. He then uses the clerk's severed head as a Halloween decoration. Sienna returns home where she learns that Jonathan is in trouble for the opossum incident. The siblings talk and Jonathan confides that Art was the one who framed him. Though Sienna claims not to believe him despite her own experiences with Art, she asks her brother why he's obsessed with the clown. Jonathan reveals that he has his father's old sketchbook and shows it to Sienna. They see that their dad sketched out scenes from the first film, a picture of Art, and the warrior angel holding Art's severed head. Sienna refuses to believe their dad predicted Art's arrival, but later tells their mom that she believes Jonathan's story that he didn't bring the opossum corpse into the school. Sienna takes a shower and puts on her costume of the angel warrior. Though Barbara isn't thrilled at how revealing the costume is, she admits that it's well made and would have made their dad proud. Sienna goes to a club to meet Brooke and Allie. Meanwhile, Allie is handing out trick or treat candy while her parents are out. Art stops by but promises to go away if she gives him candy which she eventually does. Despite his promise, Art later breaks into the house and attacks Allie. He brutally slashes her body, including cutting open her back and scalping her. Later, when Allie's mom returns home, she finds Allie still barely alive and Art laughing over her skinned body. Later, we see that Art decapitated the mom and is using her head as a bowl to hand out Halloween candy to trick or treaters. At the club, Sienna is introduced to Brooke's boyfriend. They get some drinks and dance, having a great time. Meanwhile, Barbara gets into a fight with Jonathan over the opossum incident and his obsession with Art. Barbara rips up the dad's sketchbook and slaps Jonathan after he calls her a bitch. Jonathan runs out of the house, but only after seemingly messing up the family car covering it in toilet paper, smashed pumpkins, eggs, and shaving cream. Barbara calls Sienna, who tries to defend her brother. Sienna also expresses her genuine love for her mother, which calms Barbara down. While out walking, Jonathan sees the little pale girl and runs back home. Meanwhile, Barbara begins cleaning the car. As she wipes away some shaving cream, she is surprised by Art sitting inside the car. The clown shoots her in the face with a sawed-off shotgun, killing her instantly. When Jonathan arrives home, he finds Art feeding mashed potatoes to Barbara's corpse. He flees, but Art catches and drugs him to knock him out. Art leaves the house with Jonathan, but also takes Sienna's sword along with him. Meanwhile, Brooke eventually tells Sienna that she slipped some molly into Sienna's drink in hopes of helping Sienna loosen up. As the women dance, Molly sees the little pale girl in the crowd and has a nervous breakdown. Brooke and her boyfriend drag Sienna out of the club and into his car. As they drive Sienna home, she gets a call from the little pale girl impersonating Jonathan. The little pale girl claims that he's been trapped at the abandoned fairgrounds and needs her help. 
The trio arrive at the fairgrounds and Sienna goes to find Jonathan. Meanwhile, Brooke tells her boyfriend that Sienna and Jonathan's dad had a brain tumor, became crazy and abusive, and eventually died in a fiery car crash. The pair then do drugs and make out in the car. Meanwhile, little pale girl texts Sienna from Jonathan's phone, telling her to find Jonathan in the haunted funhouse ride called The Terrifier. Brooke's boyfriend goes outside to take a pee and is attacked by Art, who rips off his genitals. Brooke flees, with Art in close pursuit. Art chases Brooke to the Terrifier funhouse and brutally beats, maims throwing acid into her face, and kills her with a bat he affixed sharp objects to. Sienna finds Brooke's corpse before she too is confronted by Art. Jonathan, who since regained consciousness, also shows up. Sienna tells Jonathan to run as Art beats her up. The siblings manage to get away and are stalked by Art through the funhouse. He inflicts a lot of damage on both, including whipping both of them until their backs bleed. They do their best to fight him, including stabbing him in the head and shooting him with his own sawed-off shotgun. However, Art never stays down for long no matter what they do. Eventually, he manages to knock out Jonathan and then stab Sienna with the sword. He throws Sienna's body into a pit, where she suddenly appears at the clown cafe from her dreams. There, Sienna is trapped in a water tank and eventually loses consciousness. Art tosses the sword aside and approaches the unconscious Jonathan. As she's about to die, Sienna's sword begins glowing and heals her wounds. Sienna regains consciousness and breaks out of the water tank. She escapes the clown cafe reality and arrives back at the Terrifier funhouse. She grabs the sword that Art discarded and finds him eating her unconscious brother. She viciously attacks, taking Art by surprise. Eventually, Sienna decapitates the evil clown as foreshadowed in her father's sketchbook. The siblings embrace, heavily wounded and traumatized but alive and victorious. To their surprise, the little pale girl appears. Instead of attacking the siblings, the little pale girl picks up Art's decapitated head and then walks away. The siblings leave the Terrifier funhouse to get help as the credits roll. mid credit scene, Vicky is still in the mental hospital as the orderlies celebrate Halloween. Vicky wakes up in the night and begins bleeding profusely from her privates. Vicky uses the blood to paint on the wall Victoria plus art inside of a heart. She then supernaturally becomes pregnant and within minutes begins giving birth to whatever is inside her. When one of the orderlies checks on her, they are horrified to see that Vicky is cradling the decapitated head of Art which is what Vicky gave birth to. The head is clearly alive and smiles as the orderly screams. With this the movie ends. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, Recap Movie Master. Thanks for watching.